Hello, Leo, and happy birthday, because this is your month. As a Leo, you really should feel the lift. Also, another thing that I really feel for this Leo energy is that you lift other people in a way you make other people see and feel in a new way. And remember, you can always have Leo wherever in your chart. I am Leo rising, so I really feel the boost that the Leo season has given us all is bringing something new when it comes to us creating. I had a very fun conversation with a spirit guide and I'm going to go into details with that after. I have my channel true messages, we have everything ready and again I renamed the the title the way that I do it. I'm still in the process of finding out how I want to do it. But, oh Leo, one thing that's very important for you this month is to allow to let the joy rush into your life that awaits you because it is coming your way. Yes, you might not see where you're going or you might not be able to calculate every single step before you do it at the moment, but you are going places. There is, by the way, renovation noises in the background again. But there is a lot of changes happening still when it comes to career. There is a lot of materialistic abundance flowing into your life. Yeah, new, new ways of shining. Yeah, it's interesting because this is something that really, really wanted to come out. It's very random, but I feel it's for someone who knows. Hmm. There might be, and this is something that happens for all of us, but there might be someone that you have been letting go of. Now that we have the Queen of Pentacles, it could be a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Obviously, it could be work, something that was just give, not giving you joy anymore. But for some reason, the universe really wants to push out that you have left. You have already decided that that is not what you want to do anymore. It, do, it didn't make sense. It didn't bring you happiness, so you left it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This, wow. What did you leave, Leo? You have cut ties and now you're ready to shine. There is a new beginning coming. Yeah. Brand new beginning. Okay. I don't want to jump into conclusions because I want to <laughs> go through the things that, we, that I channeled through. But... One thing that I also got for you is that your heart is speaking with you. You're very connected with your heart center, which is where we manifest, which makes sense why there's something that you know now that's not good for you, like you have left that. You have left it. And another thing that came true is as guides of someone, could be someone who passed over coming through, saying, I saw the token or the talisman that you placed. There is a lot of appreciation and you are receiving from that. You could have done a ritual where you put down something. There could be something with rune, runes, there could be something with... Um, Whatever, like a flower ritual. I just saw a butterfly outside saying that. But there is a lot of appreciation for a token or a talisman that you placed somewhere. Somewhere else or in your home. And another thing that I will set to give to you is that every time you feel alone, fearful or if you feel sad, the only thing you have to do is to place your hand above your heart. 
and that fear of sadness will lift away. It's, I feel, a very powerful ability that you have received because one thing that I wrote down was powerful self-healer. You are a healer, which once again comes up in the the Empress, because the Empress is a healer. It makes sense also why I got this energy in the beginning of you. Well, I have this feeling of like you are guiding a lot of people, guiding people in a communi um, with communication. Thank you. I was like, what is that? <laughs> uh, in a community. And it starts out small, or it started out small, and it's just expanding and expanding. Like there's more and more people becoming part of that. You're way more powerful than you think. That's really something I want to point out. And also, your spirit guides are working closely with you at the moment. Very close. Every step. You're never alone. I like this energy of moving you from fear to a heart-based energy. It's a very important shift that's happening in your life. <sighs> it's exciting. Yeah. Okay. And here it comes. So I'm going to read it up as I wrote it down while it happened. So, I heard someone say, If you feel instability, it's self-created. And then I said, oh, that's a little brutal. And Spirit was like, no. And then I said, explain. And Spirit was like, something served you very well in the past that has nothing to do with your new journey. This can be a situation, a relationship. It can be beliefs. It can be habits. It's actually interesting because that is exactly what this is all about. And Spirit continued... Would you put that in your suitcase? And I answered quickly, no. And then I was like, oh, wait, no. And I saw that spirit guide smiling at me because I realized, like, no, actually, I wouldn't put that in, in my new suitcase towards my new, <laughs> towards my new chapter in my life, right? No, there's no space for the past people. Or there is no space for the past heartbreak or the, the past limitations or habits. Whatever it is, right? There's no space anymore. And with that smile, the spirit guide said, You see, it no longer brings vitality or purpose. And if there's something that's happening with the conjunction that happens today. Now I totally lost what I was saying. Oh yeah, we are being guided towards our our purpose. Our um North Node of Destiny, so it makes sense. So the next thing the spirit guide that came to said was, accept the past is the past and ask them, would you put it in your suitcase? Would you? If you are free and you have been letting go, put a suitcase in the comment. Okay. So... I feel for you there's something that has to be put into action when it comes to your career. Something new. Something I feel you have been working on but you haven't put it out yet. The moon reversed. It is time that whatever you have kept a secret is being put out there. Don't be afraid. And also... Do not be afraid of stepping out, even if you can't see where you're going. That's very important. Because everything that's true to your new path goes in your suitcase. Really be honest with yourself. And also, again, the suitcase is a symbol of a new journey, right? The universe and our spirit guides love to guide us in that way, with giving us symbols and giving us... Oh, wow, well, yeah, that's a confirmation. That's a big goal. This is a confirmation, yes. This is like you made a decision, it's time to go. It's time to move and not be afraid. Some of you guys are thinking about like leaving, like moving, physically moving. But I also feel with that, do not stress about how or when because it is going to come like naturally. 
Also, I want to say, try to look at like what can you do when it comes to work that you haven't done before. Is there a new way how you can present yourself or present whatever it is that you have been working on? Because I feel that is really the Kickstarter for you to do something you haven't done before. Or do it in a new way. And with that, I had this vision of like people applauding and you standing on a stage with red curtains behind you holding a bouquet of white flowers, which white flowers is a major symbol of rebirth, of something new happening. And it's really, I mean, that vision is just your Leo energy. That is just you. You're giving yourself the biggest present this month. You are. I also feel for you there's something about your inner wolf or a spirit guide that's connected to a wolf. It could just be, again, this, this energy of like you jumping out there, not being fearful. Just howling at the moon, right? Yeah. Jump out there. I heard someone say, can you hear the inner drums? Can you hear the inner drums? It feels very shamanic with the wolf. And the drums. There is a big opportunity for you to bring your vision to reality this month. So listen to your inner wolf, listen to your inner drums and do not be afraid. Pack your suitcase. Again, I don't know if you guys have been letting go of old belief systems or Taurus because the Taurus energy really comes comes out here. Again, it could be old belief systems, or it could be that you have been letting go of something that, again, something that you did, an old job, something old, an old relationship. It's a brand new beginning for you. But now that there is reverse cards, some of you guys might still be in this, in this process of accepting that something is shifting or ending or something is not part of your life anymore. What is up with that reversed? Um, yeah. Now we have a queen of a queen of king, a queen of pentacles and a king of pentacles. I actually heard someone say you have been letting go of enemies too. Well, enemies can also be What's stopping us, right? Because look at this. For me, this is a sign of this. You are in the middle and the process of going out there. You know what you want to do. But there might be this energy of like, are people hearing me? Are people going to see me? Are people going to understand me? Will I be appreciated? Will I fail? No, because you are strong. And you can do this. It's time that you trust this Leo energy because your life is going to change forever. And I feel that is the uh, that is the message. If there's people living a life, let them go. Because you are jumping into something that's much better. I don't think you're prepared yet for how much love and support there will actually be. I heard someone say you will need to get used to people supporting you and people giving things to you. So it's all about you actually receiving. Learn to receive this month. Because that is what you do. You are receiving. And I feel that is going to be it for you. Thank you guys so much for being here. And if you are in need of a private reading, healing session or removal blocks, so all information is down below. And I shall talk to you in the daily readings or next month. Bye.